Alright you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and I'm a tarot reader here on YouTube. And I'm going to be doing the monthly readings, the monthly love readings for the month of July. So if you guys want to go ahead and cross watch and um, check out all the other zodiac signs, go ahead and check out my channel. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start. And this is going to be Leo's love reading. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on with Leo. We have heart to heart conversations. It says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So maybe you're trying to like talk to your partner and, and you want them to be honest with you. Um, about something could be something I don't know um, it says it is safe for you to love it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all alright Leo children it says your love life is being affected by children Maybe you and your partner are discussing things about your children. Maybe there's things are getting a little bit chaotic. And um, could be with maybe like, maybe the way that you um, discipline your children. Maybe you guys are clashing because of, maybe you guys have like one outlook on how you want things and your partner has an outlook of how they want things to do or how they want to do things um, I'm going to take this card it says um, when you re uh, reconciliation reconcile it says um, someone from your past is returning to your life um, I'm kind of feeling maybe not like I don't know I'm feeling that more like maybe you guys are like clashing this message I'm getting sort of is like maybe you guys are clashing and um, you guys are maybe talking about it. You guys are talking about it and you guys are having, you guys reconcile. You guys are recon uh, reconciling with each other. It says free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. So maybe you guys are freeing your guys self from the way that you guys are thinking. That's what I'm getting. It says, keep an open mind at the bottom of the deck. It says, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like keep an open mind towards, like, your uh, partner's um, ideas, uh, the way that they carry themselves with their children, the way, I don't know. I'm getting a lot of, like, children. Like, what's best for the children? We need to do this. Um, we need to be paying more attention to this. Or, like, I feel like children are maybe acting out of control. Or maybe they're, like, they're testing you guys. I don't know. Alright, you guys. Sorry, I had to, like, drink some water. Anyways, that's weird. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and take the original uh, tarot deck. So, let's see what's going on. What's going on with Leo? What is the energy that Leo needs to embody? Okay, we got one card. The devil. So maybe there's habits. I feel like, you know, the devil represents like addictions. 
could be sexual because you do have the couple here, right? They're tied by sex. We all have like things that we do that are like that are really not good for us, right? Obviously it could be drugs. Um oh dang. Maybe someone's using drugs in the relationship. Maybe someone has a problem with drugs. Oh, dang. That's not good. And maybe you guys are like, the children. Why are you doing stupid stuff be around the children? Oh, no. That's... If it's not you, Leo, it's the person you're dealing with. So, there's definitely addictions that are happening right now. And um, the family is really being affected by it. I am seeing that. Oh, dang. This, this came to a turn. I'm sorry, you guys. Alright. What is the next moves? Uh, the best advice for Leo on how they should pursue this situation. Okay, we have another card. Yeah. Um... Or if it's not like a bad addiction, it's maybe like, I feel like maybe so maybe someone could be very strong in the way that they like, the way that they talk, the way that they come off to as to their children, I'm guessing, I don't know. But um, only take what, what's your message, your guy, you guys, um, not all of this is going to apply to just, you know, to you, obviously we all have different lives, you know. Um, I do see that this person is like your soulmate, this person you really feel deep for them, like you love them so much and it's, it's definitely like taking a toll on you because maybe you just want to like, you just want to be happy, right? Everybody wants to be happy. You want things to get to normal. All right. We have this card that came out. Yeah. See, we have the world. Um, everything's Everything's going to be okay. Um, the will or the world is like things are moving forward. Yes. It means completion of cycles. It means lessons learned. So I am getting like a message maybe for somebody else. So yeah, there could be problems within a relationship, but you guys are working at it. You guys are working at it because you guys love each other. You guys love each other deeply so much. And you guys are connected by your children. You have a family with this person. And you love them so much. Obviously, that's why you have a family with them, right? Duh. Anyways. So, yeah. You do have the world card. So, um, everything's about to, like, this is about to, like, be the past. Like, you're overcoming it because, obviously, you reconciled with your lover about this about whatever situation this was um i felt like maybe it was a little it was a little intense because you have the devil card so like i said it could be any addictions it could it could be the way that you think the way that you talk to people some people like really don't notice that like children are very vulnerable and um you have to be careful um like the by the way like like how you talk to them like you just have to be careful like sometimes we could come off a little strong and they're just like really sensitive they're children you know so maybe talk to them like you know talk to them with respect um that's what I always try to do like when my nephews do something like I always just have like a one-on-one -on -one talk with them I I make sure that they are looking at me in my eyes um, I like eye contact is very, very, maybe this is a special message for somebody, but you know, make sure that they are looking at you in your eyes and that you have that connection and that they are paying very close attention to what it is that you are saying, have them respond to, if you ask a question, follow a follow up question, like how did, how do you think that made me feel? The way that you acted with your brother, with your sister. Maybe they went out and they did something crazy. Like my nephew did some something crazy like the other day. I'm going to just like spill some tea, right? And so my nephew, he like, he hijacked my lighter. 
and it was this lighter actually <laughs> and I have it for my incense for my sage because obviously I do my readings and you know um, he came in my room he took it and he went out with his friends and he went out there to like kids are curious you guys what I'm saying this is my you know what I mean this was my room he just came out of nowhere and like he came over whatever and anyways he took it and he like he almost started a fire and I was like oh my gosh like like you know like it's stuff like that kids get really mischievous right like they do that and you know our our like we're like oh my gosh like you could have set a fire someone could have died like the bigger picture right so I had, I had to sit him down and be like hey um you know like I put out all the scenarios I paint the bigger picture I don't just like sweet talk I'm like hey you know if you would have done this this leads to this leads this leads to that etc like how do you think that would make me feel do you want to put me in that situation don't put me in that situation because I love you and I'm only trying to do this for you because it's for your best right children understand you have to be able to have that type of like you know type of connection with that child or whatever whatever the situation is I don't know I, I don't know why I had to use my nephew as an example but anyways maybe that's what's happening I don't know there's definitely some chaos that happened and it's okay you guys are moving forward from this see oh snap and as I, I didn't even know you guys I just looked at the I looked at the card. See, you guys are moving forward. You guys are like letting this go. You guys, whatever this situation was, you guys are letting it go. Anyways, um, wow, that was, yeah, keep an open mind. It says in the tar or this Oracle deck. Yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, maybe mom and dad or whatever, if it, or if you're gay, you know, dad and dad, whatever. It's not gender specific, you guys. It's definitely very important to like see how they're like they're looking at each other paying attention to what it is that they're talking about it's all about communication you guys communicate and um, you guys won't have any like you know misunderstandings and stuff communication is very important and always um, be careful with your words I don't know why I'm just getting that anyways um, I'm gonna do one last card from this deck. I feel like this deck. Anyways, um, while I'm shuffling, if you guys want to go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel, um, also if you guys could turn on the notification bell to get notified of when I upload. P.S. I upload every Friday. Too many cards. Um, and if you guys like the way that I read, that I do my tarot readings, I do offer personal readings, you guys. I do 30-minute readings for $25, and if you guys are interested, I'll leave all that information in the description. Okay. So, um, we have Angel of Past Issues. So, yeah, that past issue, right? Um, you're having a lot of clarity. You guys were able to go ahead and fix this. You guys are... This is beautiful, you guys. I know that maybe this love reading wasn't... I don't know. It, it's not for everybody. This was maybe a special uh, message for somebody. So, um, you guys, I hope you guys, you know, are doing good. And just... Be careful, you guys. We all make mistakes. We're all learning in in this lifetime, right? We're not perfect. We don't know how to be perfect parents, but we learn, you know. I don't have children, but, you know, I look and um, I learn. It's all about learning, you guys. Anyways, love you guys. See you guys. Bye.